Welcome to Verbal Prick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome you all to the show. You know, since sports is a part of our world, right? On Verbal Prick Radio, we got to bring you some sports news and sports entertainment. And I found no other than my partner Dunbar, who has authority on the subject matter because he's a ref. So refs has authority, right? So, brother Dunbar, welcome to the show, bro. Oh, glad to be here, man. We're shaking. Oh man, you know how we do it. It don't stop, but so you and I, we we've been talking sports, man, for years, right? And I like your take on the subject. But but one thing that gets me is why did Deshaun Watson go to Cleveland? The money, man. It's all about the money, bro. Follow the money. But it's not about the ring no more. Hey, man, it's about the money. Now. Football but. players for a long time been behind the curve on making the money, man. A lot of people see the numbers in the media and everything, and they think those numbers are real. Those numbers aren't real, bro. Right. And, you know, after you, you pay the IRS and pay your agent and, and, and everybody else got their hands, these dollars a year you making, you really coming home with only 500000 you know? Right. So, I mean, Nowadays, for these football players, man, it's about getting their bag now, and they want all of their money now. Bro. But 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 when you get a Super Bowl ring, don't you get paid for life? I mean, look at Romo. I mean, Romo ain't got a ring, but you know you got Bradshaw always getting Joe Namath still in the spotlight when you get that ring. Yeah, but you have to think about some of them positions ain't for everybody. Though. Right, right, facts. You know, facts. You know the, the the you know you can win the Super Bowl ring and, and yeah popularity comes with it but but <laughs> them, them endorsement deals and, and, and getting those TV shows and all that everybody ain't getting them. right okay that's because we I was wondering you know damn watching you finna go to a division where you got the Ravens defense the the Steelers defense Cleveland I mean in Cincinnati. You know, you're not used to that type of uh, smash mouth football. No, it's not. But you have to think about this, man. With all of the issues he's going through with right now, and, and you have to think his reputation taking a big old hit. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention the money he's spending. He, he's he's spending fighting musicians. Right, right. So the, right now, you have to think in his mind, the most important thing for him is getting the money. Is get the money, facts, get bro. Get the money, and and and, and if along the way, man, that team is good enough to get well, they get to Super Bowl, win Super Bowl, then great, man. But right. his number one priority right now might not be about that. Right, get get that money, and and the funny yeah. part is, you know, they used to have classes, bro. Look how to conduct yourself around these females because they looking to get paid. Oh yeah, they did. I mean. They, they give them all kind of stuff, man, to try to help them finances, uh, you know, how to handle life situations, all that stuff, man. But for whatever reason, it, 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 real life is real life, man. Right. You still going to get that trap. You still can get caught in that trap. Man. Exactly. Exactly. And we can all take classes on everything we want. But when it comes to real life issues... <laughs> Like, we all fall victim to it. Some point, on, man. Time, man. You, you had a couple of drinks and it's sitting right in your face, and then exactly, I, I, yeah, exactly. our ethics just out the window. Man, I, man. I, yeah, man, it's I, tough. I, it's tough, bro. I hate, I hate that. Now they say Tom Brady is the goat, right? But, but his, I mean, if you go back when Bradshaw and them played, bro, you know. The defense was much tougher though back then. You, know, you barely touch somebody, man. They throw a flag on you. I agree and principle with that. You know, football back then was was really more of a, of a man's game. I'm not saying it's not no more these days, man. But you know, these days bro, it's way better athletes now. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, that's true. But they get hurt so easy now too, though, bro. But, but that's because of. All of the performance uh, uh, training they're doing. I mean, your muscles really, in reality, is not built to take all of that stress like that. Right. Fact. So a lot of these kids, like, they cast out your training, and, and man, they overextending their body, overextending their muscles. They, yeah, I mean, they gonna break down at some point in time. Yeah, that that makes sense, dude. That may, I mean, yep. it's, it's 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 strange. And then the the situation with you know how they. Uh, Decided who would get compensation for a concussion 
or the concussion protocol, the scale that they use pertaining to black athletes versus white athletes. I never thought in a million years, bro. Like if we got two different type of brains or something. Come on, man. That issue, there's a microcosm of, of, of this world, bro. Right, I know, it was dude. That, that uphill battle, black folks been fighting forever, man. Forever. We, we, we never been on a level playing field with them. Never. But, and the sad part about it is, is we create. I mean, look at the music industry, bro. We create the style. We create the music. But how do how do we slip out of our look at hip hop? How look at hip hop, man? You got a damn to go through white white labels in order to get put on. How does that shit happen? Because we 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 not the owners of it, man. We like to think we are, but we not the owners of it. We, ain't the we owners. create it all we want, man, but we don't put the investment into it. Right. Plus. Plus, we, we we still afraid, man. Cause I'm no, you know, Jay Prince got a a, a a boycott the Grammys coming up, right? Yeah. And he's supposed to uh, host the, his own Grammys in Vegas, and asking, you know, because Nicki Minaj joined then and asking a lot of celebrities, they want y'all to get down with me. Let's let's show them that you all wouldn't have this swagging style if it wasn't for us, right? Yeah. But it, it takes so many people to. Join in, it's like they they across the picket line, bro. What you afraid of? Everybody got to jump on board with it, though. Yeah, That's yeah. the only way you're gonna change it. Everybody got to get on board with it. Man. Everybody got. But he, he need the power brokers in that industry to get on board, man. Right. You know, he, the Jay Zs, the, right. the, the the Puff Daddies, the, all them got to jump on board with it too, man. Right. They got to get in and then you see know. because see this is the thing with us though, we live for today. We don't live to set something exactly. for the for the gen- next generations coming up. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Man, we we don't see the future. Well, see, if you got to take that hit now. You might not be here, but at least the future can can prosper from it. We we, we don't we don't look at the long term effects of anything. Like I said, we always for the day. For the day, anything. Everybody, everybody want they they money and they they instant <laughs> fame and everything today. Right now, and. And I hear looking at the big picture. Nah, and I hear old timers all the time. They'll say, "Yeah, man, we felt y'all. We should have did this, this, and that. You know, when we had the chance, but we didn't do it." Then they say, "Well, now it's up to y'all to do it." And hey, we like we follow your lead. We want our bag right now. Yeah, you know. I we, mean, and, and, and the thing is, with this generation, when they do try to push the envelope and change something, then the the generation before them ain't getting on board with it either. No, nah, man, they they you know they'll come in, they'll sing Amazing Grace, they'll kill your spirit, and you back to square one. Oh man, don't get me started. <laughs> they get us, get us, I mean, they get us every time, bro. It's, I mean, dude, it is ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. We got to have that moment, man, where the older generation embraced the younger generation, the younger generation embraced the older generation. Everybody's ideas got to count, man. Right. Everybody's ideas. Everybody's ideas got to count. That's the only way you're going to get ahead, man. Yeah, but see, it's it's that, you know, it's like the day when 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 when, when Malcolm ideology and Martin's ideology can find a way to unite, meaning the church and 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 the... Uh, what they call nationalists or militants can meet together because one is saying stay away from the other, and it's like, though you need both ideologies, you know, in this system. I mean, look at how they took the land. I Meaning, in business, they can sit down, even though they don't like each other. But if it's to make some money, they'll hold that pride to get the to get the money first, or to do the business first, and then they'll deal with the personal issues later. But business comes first. But, but, but that that's the biggest problem. They don't know when to fall back and when to take the lead, though. Sometimes you got to take the lead on a situation. You know, the militant ideology, and sometimes the Christian ideology got to take the lead. Yeah, but they got to learn how to work it together, though. Got to. If they, don't, if, if they don't work it together, you know, hey, we we can have differences of opinion all day long. Right. But we have to, we have to come together and make our differences work for us. It's a it is a must, right? Because yeah. time, man, time. And the reason why it's a must is because 
if 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 the the brains, the minds, the thinkers can't come together, then what we see today, as far as uh, all of the killings and the shootings in the streets and the lawlessness and and young people saying they have no hope and I mean the, the chaos that's going on that that that's that's the reason why you know yep. you, you hell, how many you're not teaching these youngsters how to manage money or how to be diplomatic if a situation occurs how you handle it diplomatically your your first instinct shouldn't be go get a gun up and tap the block and that's a it all starts economically, man. Economically. And if it's you, never... If you can teach everybody how to be economically responsible and, 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 and how to manage that money and how to make money and everything, man, a lot of these issues will, will resolve itself. Will resolve itself. It's never been a time where innocent children are being shot like they're being shot, especially in Houston, bro. Nine-year-olds, 11-year-olds, 13, 14. I mean, straight bullets. Cats just shooting up in the apartment complex. Just don't even give a damn who they hit. Just firing. I mean, it's never been a time where the Galleria wasn't safe, man. Now the Galleria down to turn and shop something out. Everybody trying to get get everybody trying to get something, man. They don't know what it is they chasing, but they trying to get something. Everybody take his money. Everybody, I hear some youngsters was like, "Look, man, I'm just here to get this bag, make this money, and if I burn out and die early, at least I had a good time while I was here, and I'm gone. I don't want to get old, man." And the funny thing about that is, we chasing that bag of money. And paper money about to become obsolete. Right. Come on. For real. You, you, you can sit there with all the money you want in your hand. You, 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 you going to be chasing crypto crazy. Exactly. That paper money ain't going to be nothing to pay. They're real. Like they even got digital real estate. You can't even put your hands on this. Yeah. And, 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 and going still in crypto currency or nobody. Hey, you can't go put no gun on nobody here to steal that money. Right. For real. For real. Let me, let me see your crypto. Your crypto wallet, man, you crazy. Uh, uh, yeah, man. you it's, right, it's, man. It's crazy out here. Yep, yeah, but you, you know what, though, in the future, you are absolutely right. If you're not involved in this crypto at the un- uh, at the early stages, that means then that as time progress and they use crypto to block you out, and you still chasing that dollar, you think it's hard times now, bro. Think about it. Think about it. Ooh, boy, you. <laughs> You gonna be like, motherfucker gonna gonna be like, excuse my language, wearing uh, grass skirts in a hut somewhere, man. <laughs> man, it's crazy. <laughs> this world is forever changing, man. It's changing every day on you, man. Yeah, yeah every day, cause <laughs> if you don't get caught up on what's going on, man, you, you gonna be left behind, bro. Yeah, like left behind, like when Yahoo first came out, the internet first came out, Amazon, yep. Google, and we yep. missed those investments, and now look at it, man. Tell you, this the next biggest thing. But let me ask you this: that 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 Will Smith slap, bro. I mean, they own that heavy. It's on every news station, so we got to talk about it, bro. You know, the, the some people saying, "Well, damn, Will, why you ain't jump on the young dude she was sleeping with?" Whatever his name was. Man, my whole <laughs> thought on all that is, man, and and. and <laughs> Gonna be a lot of women that ain't gonna like what I'm saying. But Jane the Pinky got Will Smith looking like a real fool out here, man. Yeah. She got Will. Will here spinning so hard right now, he don't know what to do, man. He was confused, man. De confused, bro. She, I, she, I mean, I, <clears throat> I hate to say it, man, but Will, she got him looking like a fool right now, man. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Man, uh, I, I'm a. I, <clears throat> She got him look like a fool, man. <laughs> like a, that, that whole family, man. Think about it. They, yeah. they kids are, are confused, man. Right, yeah. The, yeah, the kids. One don't know what they want to be. Uh, he, yeah, he, 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 she even had him on the, the red table discussing her affair. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying. They, they, I mean, she got him right now. I mean, he don't know. And, and it's sad because. Will, you have so much power, man. Yeah. He has so much power, man. But but for whatever reason, his, his kryptonite is Jada Pink. And to the fact that, look, 
when we you had with the Will Smith type of rap, you know everybody want to be a gangster man, and it, and it, it's so many mindsets and genres of music that you can make money doing Will type Will Smith uh, type of rap without them trying to say he. He soft or whatever. I mean, they tried to get on Hammer with that. They got on Will Smith. They was on Jay-Z at first with that soaking fame and whatnot. Then he just switched to becoming a gangster rapper or whatever because everybody trying to get some street cred. But, man, get your money. Don't be worried about no street cred with folks, eh? Uh-huh. You know? And so it seemed like he, because, you know, he was trying to, you know, since she was cool with Tupac, they was trying to compare him with Pac and what would Pac do and this and that. Will you will? Pac is Pac. Mm-hmm. You know, it's two, 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 two different different mindsets. Because he was laughing at first till she looked at him, and then he was like, I guess I got to go up here. And, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go up there and slap him. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, can I take a break? Man, I got an important call. Yeah, 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 done, but I'll wait, man. We're going to pick this back up, bro. All right, man. I, cause, yeah, I, I, don't, I gotta see what this going on. She just called me back. I'm back. I'm back. Right, done deal, bro. Done deal. Right, yeah, uh, we'll catch back up, man. We'll talk some more. Yes, sir. Part two coming soon. Rope Pick Radio. We at.